Hi everyone, my name is Fosco Bacchaglia. I'm the CEO of SkyTrade International. It's a trading company. We buy stuff from China and we sell it in Italy and Europe. I make this video to list eight of the things that I really cannot bear, cannot stand, that I hate about China. Okay? Let me know if you agree or disagree with it. Number one, distance. This time around, I was based in a city called Handan and from there I had to visit some suppliers or friends or other cities and places that I had to see and each time I had to go somewhere I had to bear a four or five hour trip on the way go on the way back no matter it's by plane by car or by train it takes a really long time so when you plan traveling in China you really have to take care of your planning for like taking one or two days longer than what it takes usually in another country number two Queues, lines. You know China has a huge population. Therefore, anything you do, anywhere you go, there's gonna be queues, and they're long, very long. So arm yourself with the patience, calm, and just uh, you know, take it easy. Number three. It's still about lines, the long lines. But this time around, I want to mention the fact that Chinese people really do not respect lines so instead of lining behind you you just you know cut the line and just get they're all over the place they come from the right from the left anywhere and when you're ready to you know take your turn when it's your turn you see people coming in you know from anywhere just uh, you know trying to be smarter than you are and uh, that's a habit i really cannot stand especially you know i'm not that thin and waiting in line for a long time sweating when it's hot and you see people that just uh, didn't wait as long as you did it can be a little bit frustrating and it really pisses me off. Number four, it's about using the cell phone for everything. Now China had a big evolution of uh, e-commerce and uh, you know uh, the online payment for everything, online booking. Right now in China everything it's done through the phone. Ride on a car, you buy a train ticket, you buy airplane ticket, everything is through the phone. You go shopping, you book a restaurant, you book a seat at the movies, anything's through that. So when you're talking to people, you're facing them, it's like they're not giving you their full attention because they're constantly looking at the screen, you know, and paying attention to things that are going on on the phone. It's not a doing no purpose and it's not lack of respect. Still, I know that, but it's really frustrating. Number five, it's the check-in time at the hotel. The time that check-in takes at hotels, it's really, it, you know, it drives me crazy every time. I'm in touch with China for over 20 years and I'm still not getting used to it. You're right there with your luggage and anything, you get the passport, you know, it takes like 25, 30 minutes. I understand that as a foreigner, you know, registration to the government for my passport and everything, it's a pain in the ass for them too. How come that with such a level of technology, it's still taking so long? I just want to get my key and get to my room. Number six, it's people shouting over the phone. I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care about what you have to say to your daughter, to your boss, to your colleague. I don't care what you have to scream into the whole world. I don't care, just keep it down. People from countryside mostly have this behavior and they're really, you know, getting into it. And everybody knows what they're talking about because, for example, when you're on a train or in an airplane or something, you know, as soon as you land or you arrive, they have to get in touch with their people and with the staff or something. Anyway, they're really loud and everybody knows what they're talking about. And even, you know, it's bothering Chinese people who are not doing this. I have to say, this kind of behavior is not from, from everyone. It's less and less used from people. It's mostly from people from countryside, but still, it bothers me. Number seven. Now, for me, in the list, this is the worst. Very few people still do this, okay? But it bothers me a lot. And this is like a hawking and spitting. You know, around town when you're walking or when you're waiting at the train station or airport or something. Really, it's disgusting. I hope less and less people are doing this are gonna do this, okay? I've seen it through the years changing is a habit that is disappearing, luckily, okay? 
but still when it happens, I really, really cannot bear it. Number eight, and this is a funny one, actually it's not really a complaint or, or something that bothers me, but the gifts have it. You know, when I arrive in China, I have to bring stuff for my relatives and friends over there or suppliers that is not being found, something in China that uh, is from Italy, something that you cannot find in China. And when I leave, these people, out of their kindness, out of their, out of their heart, I understand that. They're giving me so much stuff that I can eat for like three months without buying anything in Italy. It's like um, fruit, chickens, it's like um, uh, chips, um, cookies or anything. So much stuff, I came back to Italy a few weeks ago. I had my own luggage, the hand luggage, and another big bag of stuff that, you know, it's gonna last me for three months. It's rude to throw it away, and I'm not gonna do that. I don't like to waste. But really, really bothers me to carry such a big bag with such a heavy weight when you're flying for such a long time. All these things. But I wanna thank everyone anyway for the gifts. Okay, the list is over. Please bear in mind, I love China. I spent half of my life in China and I love it. Work-wise, life-wise, I really like it. So this list is just, uh, you know, to make a, uh, to give you an idea of what I can take or what I cannot take about Chinese habits. Leave your comments below, okay? Like or dislike, let me know what you think and uh, tell me what is your list. If you like the video, please hit the button, subscribe and see you next time with a list of things that I really love about China. Ciao!